Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a technique, a transfer technique, to take images from uh, paper and apply the images to sticky back canvas. And these are luggage tags. This is a luggage tag that I made with the birds, the Seven Gypsies Conservatory paper. And the way that we do that is to take the sticky back canvas. I've just got a little piece that I cut here. And you peel away the liner. And you lay it down with the sticky side up. Then you take the image that you want to transfer onto the tag and you lay it image side down. And you just carefully line up those corners and lay it down there. Then I'm going to take a bone folder and burnish it to fuse the adhesive onto the tag. Then you take water and just spritz it with water, saturate it. You can see the water begin to absorb into that paper. Probably works best with uh, maybe a little bit lighter weight cardstock. I haven't tried it with a heavier weight yet, but uh, it works really well with this weight. And then you just take your finger and start to rub away the paper and it begins to peel and rub away. And you can already see how that image is going to adhere to the tag. Just pulling away that first layer of paper. And then you just keep spritzing it. And we're going to cut away for a minute here, and I'm going to finish pulling some of this paper away. Here is our tag, and this is after I have rubbed away most of the paper. And I find that with these transfer techniques, when it looks like you have all the paper rubbed away, when it dries, you have little cloudy places where you still have some paper left. And it helps to take a little bit of gel medium, and I'm using Claudine Helmuth's gel medium, and this is also Claudine Helmuth's sticky back canvas. Um, I just love the product because I like the texture that uh, it affords on, um, on projects. So see even you can see there's a little bit more paper that's peeling away and and coming up with that. I think it also helps because um, once you uh, get everything rubbed away I think that gel medium gives you just a little bit of body whatever's left there. All right, I'm going to take a, excuse me, paper towel here, and I'm just going to kind of push away the remaining bits of paper and gel medium. Okay, so there's our tag. Now, I like to take a paper piercing tool and grab some of the threads on the side and just kind of fray my edges a little bit. You just kind of have to work at it. There's um, This canvas is fairly tightly woven, so uh, you just kind of have to pick up one string at a time. Also, because there's the adhesive there, it kind of keeps it all bound. But, um, but you can pull away a little bit of it. So it just gives us a little bit of a frayed edge on the side. So there's, there's that side. And then over here on this little paisley piece.
just a little bit on this last side. There we go, that one's coming a little easier. All right, there we go. So see, that gives us a little bit of um, fringe on the edges. I'm just going to dry the remaining moisture from my tag here. And I think before <clears throat> I go too much further, I'm going to put a little vintage photo on the back of this because I don't like that stark white. So I'm going to add just a little bit of vintage photo on the back. And then I'm going to spritz it with water so all of that bleeds out. Just kind of get the back of that dirty a little bit. Okay. All right, now I'm going to dry it. And I'm also going to use some vintage photo on the edges. Just kind of finish off that fringe a little bit. Well, that looks kind of cool. It picked up um, some of the ink that was on the craft sheet. Kind of absorbed that, see that? So it even got it a little more dirty. Now you do want to be aware what image you choose to do this technique because when you transfer your image, any text, see that word right there? It's going to be backwards. Um, I don't really care. I, I'm fine with that. But um, if that's important, you just want to be aware that that's going to be the case for you. All right, now I'm going to take some vintage photo, and I'm just going to kind of hit the edges a little bit here on that fringe. What kind of ink are you using? This is Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And this is the vintage photo color. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Now I'm going to take a crocodile. I just think that's an awesome. feel to that, to that product, to the finished product, it mm -hmm. just, it's very artful. So I'm just going to punch a little hole there. I'm going to use some Seven Gypsies, what are these called, reinforcers? These are just little self-adhesive metal discs. These are the antique silver, so they just kind of have a little bit of a burnished look, and on the back there's a little uh, label that you can peel away. If you can get the paper off, there we go. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a grommet on the tag. And there you go. Very nice. And then on your first one, you finish it off with some mm -hmm. ribbon. Yep, the first one I just I just looped some uh, twine and some brown and black dotted uh, ribbon, looped that through, and then I tied that with a piece of cotton string, which has been tea dyed. So All right, can we see them that. side by side then? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. Have fun.